Well, I uh, often don't get to sleep very much. Um, and so what I've been uh, doing is playing games with my consciousness. And um, I play games like mock-up. I think of everything that can go wrong. And then I ask myself the question, what can I do about this, about this, about this? And occasionally I, I think about, well, let's see if I can dream up a really good question. And, um, and so I think up all these questions. And it's very amusing and it takes time and eventually I fall asleep and most of the time I don't remember the questions. Um, but this morning I woke up and I did remember the question. My little thing to hold a camera is, I lost it, so I, this is the best I can do about a visual. God, I'd like somebody to help me make podcasts be easier than this holding a camera. So here's, here's the great divine questions that came up last night. What do you think? Uh, when am I going to start to share uh, my truth compassionately and to stop withholding and gossiping and third partying? That's a pretty hot question. And I know lots of people that that's got to be true for them. And they think that the person that they're having these, uh, you know, they're having a feelings about and they think that the other person can't feel it, but they can. If you stop and think about it, you know who's, who's bad thoughting you, even if they're thousands of miles away. And, and maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong, but we're capable of doing it. And so here was the other great question. Uh, what, what stops me from uh, just feeling my fears of telling the truth compassionately? Or, or even not compassionately? Or why am I afraid of telling the truth? Um, and you know, uh, a friend of mine, his name I forget, and I'm 40 years ago, uh, but when he was asked about uh, the thing that he noticed most in Americas, uh, and he said, well, what he noticed was that friendships, long-time friendships would end uh, because somebody couldn't tell the truth in the friendship. And he said in his country, which I think was Norway or Sweden or Denmark, uh, you really knew who your friends were because they were the ones who would tell you the truth. They weren't afraid to be wrong with you because they knew you loved them. Uh, and they trusted that you could work anything out. So if you have any um, thoughts about this, um, please write me a letter because uh, I can't use social media and all these communication tools except I'm trying to make these videos. Um, so write me a letter to uh, Post Office Box 94, Sebastopol, um, uh, California, 95473. And I'm more likely to be able to find somebody who can read the letter to me. And... Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to thank all the people who are sending me money so that I I could, uh, you know, pass it on um, to the people who are helping me. And I've had a lot of people help me, but everybody's got their own life. So I'm looking for ideas on how to get some more people to help me. Just wait till you need a lot of help. Oh, wow. Is it ever fun? Thanks a lot.